live, is that correct? Yes. Yes? All right. So, by the way, Danny's back here. Show Danny. Danny, you've been getting a lot of pub from the Facebook, the uh, YouTube. Yeah, you videos. got a lot of comments on Good. that. You do. Good. Yeah. So, Danny. <laughs> and this is Cody Elson of Tour Edge Golf. And Cody was just telling me, I stopped him because I want to put it on the Facebook feed. There are these new forged irons, and I think. Am I going to be able to hit these? Oh, absolutely. Am I going to own these? You are absolutely going to have some of them. you like the pressure job? Absolutely going so to. So tell me about this thing. It's beautiful. So um, the, the, the most important thing about this is there's a lot of weight in the bottom of the club, so the center of gravity is still low. Okay. And it's a forged cavity back, so there's a little bit of cavity right there. But the beauty of it is it's actually extremely easy to hit. Well, that's what I there's not many me. There's not many forged irons that look like this and have a super, a super thin top line that are actually that. easy to hit. There's not many out there like that at all. Um, we're gonna, I'm sure we're gonna, you're gonna put these to the test and we're gonna get a good review out of uh, what I can't you think wait. about them from it. They're but, beautiful. No, they're beautiful put this, I've never seen it before just now. Those look great. So, so the thing is about the newer clubs and uh, in my bag right now, I've been using a more traditional older type mm -hmm. of club. And the thing is, is that whenever I do pick up the newer clubs, right. Yes, I want a club that I can hit better, be more forgiving. Mm -hmm. But if I look down on it and it's got a really thick top line, yeah. I don't love it. Yeah, if a lot I of guys are like that. That's one reason why we made that is because there's a lot of players out there that need forgiveness still, but like right. that traditional thin top line face. And I mean, when you look down at that address, it looks like you get sliced butter with that. And also, I'm sure there's some game improvement. I'm sure there's a little bit of offset there. But the Tiny way that you guys did it is... It's not that noticeable. No. So it looks much more like an almost no offset. Yeah, right? Another thing too with it is the dress is, uh, you know, the back of it's nice and shiny and all that yeah. stuff, but when you put it down, it's at the top and the face are a little bit of a matte finish. Yes. So you're actually not gonna get that glare and all that, that stuff that the sun is gonna give you. Yes, especially. And so like for example, in my wedges that I get, mm -hmm. I never, you will play a chrome wedge. Right, absolutely. I like the way it all looks. Right. I don't love getting the glare in the face. So yeah, like absolutely. the eight iron. There's a lot iron. of putters that are like that too, that you, yeah. you you go down there and they're super shiny. That was one of the goals we wanted is you're going through the R and D process of this is you know, you want it to look perfect. Right now. So I want to talk about this too. So I was looking online at the E ten clubs. Correct. And what caught my attention, mm -hmm. and here's the thing, like I'm using now the E nine beta fairway wood. Okay. Right? Love it. Yep. I love, and I'm, I shouldn't, I'm going on a limb here. One of the things I love about it is I could take the original shaft out of it mm -hmm. and put the shaft in the match with my driver. Right. So that was easy for me to do. I didn't have to have like anybody do right. that. The other thing though that I noticed about the new club is two thirds of the mass of the entire club head is below the ball. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So can we take a look at one of those? Yeah, let me, I'm let me put this back. Right. Well, let me grab it. Okay, let's, let's follow it. Two hybrids. All right, so let's go over. Oh, the live. We got a. Yeah, so this is actually one um, What Mike was talking about is that two thirds of the entire mass is below the clubhead. So feel this real quick. So that's your body and how light it is. It's light. Out. There's feel. like nothing there. So here's the bottom of the club that goes underneath the ball. Feel how heavy All that, that weight right there is scooping under the ball, making it extremely easy to hit. So all the weight's down here. Mm -hmm. Now, does that give you more spin that we try to take off somewhere? Else? A little does bit. That factor at all. Well, or? the one thing with the XJ1 line is it is a lightweight story, and we did design this club for slower swing speeds. Okay. The beauty of this club and the body, the body is so this is the 911 titanium body. Okay. 911 titanium body is a new material. We're the first ones in the United States to use it. It's extremely thin and extremely light. Yes. So a lot of the problems with some of the, your drivers out there, and I'm not going to name our competition, and some of even our, our own drivers, the titanium doesn't get, you can't you can't get the same reaction out of it that you can with 911. So it doesn't matter whether you're swinging 100 miles an hour or 50 miles an hour, the body is going to react the exact same way. So the biggest distance gains we see, we're talking 20, 30 more yards a, a drive, it's the guys that are swinging 70 or lower. Oh, really? Because they're not able to actually get that rebound effect and spring effect out of the bodies of the fairy woods and drivers because it's not made for that. Okay. This is ex this is specifically designed for slower swing speeds. Okay. That's, right. It's a lightweight story. It's an absolutely beautiful club for that. 
Okay, so this is a great club for slower all the people swing watching speeds. this. Yeah, slower it, swing speeds. It may not, you know, I forgot. We don't like to slower, normal I'm swing speeds. Yeah. So, so regular so, flex, if you're a regular flex player or lower, this is absolutely perfect for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the club I'm using, the E9 Beta. beta. There's an EX10 Beta that we released two days ago. Oh, really? Which we can talk okay. about, too. All right. Well, let's talk about that, too. Now, here's the thing about the E9 Beta. I've got a complaint. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. It goes too far. We actually get that a lot of, from a lot of players so, on the PGA like, Tour, too. So, like, I, it doesn't really go too far, but I should have got a forward. Yeah. Like, the thing is so... Uh, it launches, actually, from versus my driver right. a little lower than my driver when I usually hit it, right. right? I don't know if that makes sense or not. Yeah. But the thing just goes and hits and rolls. And I mean, you got an extremely penetrating ball flight with the yeah. beta line, but yeah. it does it still gets up there high, but it takes a little bit longer to get up. Yeah, I do love That's it. how you get all that distance out of it, because that, that means it's not spinning an extreme amount, so it doesn't get up super fast. But if everyone's getting up super fast, that means you're putting a little too much backspin out of it. Right, right. But uh, we have a lot of guys, I can't, I mean, I can't name any names, but sure. I can tell you that he won uh, an event last year and has a couple top tens. But I think he, I, I, think he's I been playing. He's that. been playing our five wood because the three wood's too long. All right, I won't say the name, but I think I figured out who it was. I put it on my Facebook page. Probably did. Yeah, I think I did that. So <laughs> but no. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You can, you can do whatever you want with that. Okay, so, all right. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's it's remarkable. We do hear that a lot, though. Our, your very wood goes too far. Yeah. Um, which isn't a bad thing. So four wood for now. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of guys end up playing a five wood because the three wood's so, so long. I'm and the excited. benefit of that is the five wood's more forgiving than three wood. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes, more loft, absolutely. easier to hit. So, so it's a let's great see. Thing. Can we see the E10 beta? Yeah. Do you have them here already? Yeah, we'll come right wow. So they just came out yesterday. So this is the EX10 beta. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So for, it's got the slipstream sole on it, which. Only two of these ribbons will actually touch the uh, ground through your swing. It minimizes turf interaction, and it allows the club to actually achieve maximum velocity through your swing. So you, you, you cut through the grass, you cut through whatever it is, um, you know, shorter fairway, longer fairways. The, the issue is, you know, your club does slow down before impact a lot of the time. Right. So a lot of us don't hit it perfectly like a tour player and have a perfect angle attack coming up on the ball. A lot of us swing down on it with the fairway a little bit. Right. And this helps you still get that extra two miles an hour, three miles an hour club head speed, which can equate to 10 more yards. So the reality of, like we're always talking about, you need your club, we want to bottom out. Right. After the ball. Bit, Absolutely. Right? So this one, when we make the mistake, when you make we that bottom mistake, out the wrong helps. side, there's less friction with the ground. More club at speed, more. It also speed. functions not quite the same because not as much weight, but it functions similar to what we talked about with the XJ1 fairy wood. Right. Is this puts a lot of weight below the ball too to make it easier to hit in the air. And it looks to me it's just a beautiful like club. last year's club, right? Does it look almost the same? Is there a difference? Um, no, this is going to be bigger. Than okay, the, but than I mean the, the, the color scheme here. and all that stuff. Um, yeah, same exact glossy finish. And do, is there an alignment date on last year's? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, there's an alignment aid, but the one cool thing I want to talk about is, yeah. so we've had, you know, we've been using a titanium cup base since 2004, and it truly is, there's nothing better out there in a ferry than a titanium cup base. It just packs a huge punch. We actually have a new titanium cup base, finally. It's called a TSP 910 Beta Titanium Cup Base. Is that this? That's, that's on that, yeah. And okay. it's extremely, it's, it's thinner and lighter, but it's also hotter because it's thinner, but it's still strong. So if you can come with a titanium that's thinner, but a different type of material that it still is, has a property being really strong, you're going to get more spring out of it because it's not as thick. And what we're able to do with the weight savings, too, on that cup base is we put right. it all back here. Right. So. Traditionally, in our beta, the weight's right here. Right. But now we're moving everything low like low, blind, uh, low in um, the back of the head, which creates a launch that just goes so like the, that. So the one thing I will say, mm -hmm. that three wood that I have, the E9, yeah. is hot, long, I like the compact head because it gives me more confidence right. I can get to the ball, you know? Right, right, right. But uh, if I'm not swinging well, it, it punishes you. A little bit. Yeah, a little does. bit. So this might be a little bit more forgiving. Yeah, that, 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 this club, you can argue that the uh, this is the other EX10 Fairywood. Um, similar properties, different different faces. It's bigger. HT980 right? Japanese steel cup base. What's a 5 wood? You can argue that these are two are almost as forgiving as each other. Okay, with, wow. weight, with all the weight positioning. So one thing I just, I just want to ask you about. Sure. So I had heard about the cup face, the cup face, the cup face. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, when I thought about the cup face was, I thought it had like, I thought there was a cup looking at it this way that it was like a concave type of uh, yeah, cup. Yeah, yeah. So what I learned was, and I'm going to try to Go right impress you with my what I learned. All so, right, all right. so what I learned was 
the cup face rather than having a face that just is like welded right there when you have this weld here that's getting in the way of what you can do with efficient weight management mm -hmm. this face actually extends back in here somewhere mm -hmm. so if you took it off and you laid it on a table you could pour like water in there that's how it's a cup Absolutely. face so your welding or your brazing you zoom in right isn't there right there on that you can exactly see what he's talking about so you look at that alignment aid on the top of the crown of the club, which we'll go back to in a second, you can actually see exactly where the cup face is. It's wrapping all the way around. Right, okay. And, and there's actually no, um, there's no way to, to weld steel and titanium together. So you have a steel body of titanium. So we have to get really, really, really creative. Right. And we use a robotic laser welding process that they use on the car parts and all that kind of stuff. Okay. We're the only one really using that process in golf. But what it does is it creates an absolutely perfect seam. So you save more weight, put it in right. the back. You can't see it, yeah. yeah. I have another question. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the E8 Tour driver, mm -hmm. which I guess the term Tour is now beta. Is beta, that yeah, okay. E8 beta. So I've got that driver. Mm -hmm. Thing is, the best driver I've ever had. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Tour Edge, everyone talks about Tour Edge fairway woods. Right. But no one's talking about the driver. Right. I've got a theory. Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead. My theory is, is that the Tour Edge, one of the reasons why the Tour Edge fairway woods are so well known mm -hmm. is the contracts that Tour players have, yeah. they give them a little bit of leeway with a lot of clubs, but not the driver. Absolutely. And so, if you got a guy who's playing the big name brand, yep. the, where the owner of the company doesn't show up every day and work with you guys, like a right. big company, right? Right, right, right. They're just not going to give up that financial bonus and go to a Tour Edge driver. Right. But if, from what I found, the Tour Edge driver is just as good as a fairway wood. And for me, I've noticed a bigger difference hitting the Tour Edge driver over the other drivers mm -hmm. because the driver is so much easier to hit bad shots with. Yes, yeah. so our, our driver pr feel produces a lot of low spin all over the face. That's the, the beauty of it. And you're absolutely right. With Tour players, we get a lot of PGA Tour players, Champions Tour players, LPGA players putting our fairway woods, hybrids in play, our irons, irons in play even now. But you're right, the driver is the most visible part of the bag because right. when you go watch an event, they, almost every tee shot's. Right, and I know they're paying uh, these guys. You hit, you, hit a lot you, hit, you hit XYZ driver, right. you get X amount of thousands of dollars. Yeah, a, lo a lot of the players have 10, 10, 12 club contracts, so they're able to sneak in a club here or there. Right. And, and a lot of times, in a lot of cases, we end up being that brand that gets to sneak into that slot. We have a tour rep that's at every event helping players out. We have enough players on tour. I'm not allowed to give you exact numbers right, of right. how many people are, but I can tell you there's a lot of players that play in our stuff. We have a rep at every tour event that is actually helping these tour players and making sure the equipment's okay and all that kind sure. of stuff. And there's a couple things people should know. Mm -hmm. When you look at a tour player, because let's face it, you want to you want to buy the best equipment. Right. So if a tour player is playing it, it's got to be really, really good. Absolutely. You look at a tour player and they have big brand head cover on their fairway wood, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's under it. Oh it yeah, could I, be I've this got some thing funny videos that I can send under Mike. Under their fairway wood. I'll send Mike is a guy who won last year also. Right. Well, he has a he has a sock, legitimate, like a, a sock that he wears. He like puts a, over our fairway like wood. Like a Nike sock, a tube sock? It's, it's like an old tube sock, like a Hanes tube sock. Nice. That's what he puts on our club. So, you know, I, and we, I, we took videos of that and taking it up and all that. Where you don't see the guy's name, but there's a guy that does that. Let's go look at the right place. All right. all right, so I don't want to take too much time up on this thing. Any other thing that's exciting to show us live to everybody? I, I mean, honestly, in my opinion, the biggest crowning achievement that we actually have this year, as we were just talking about drivers, is our driver. Oh, cool. All right. So we're, we're, we're really using, stepping it up with upgraded materials this year. Um, we're using the 811 titanium body, which we talked about 911 over there. Right. Now, this one, 811 is not as light, but it is also extremely reactive, like we talked about. Right. Because this is more for that everyday golfer. You know, you could be swinging, tour pros could hit this club and not yeah. spin. Okay. That's the beauty of it. But to compensate for that, so a guy that's swinging 60 miles an hour, we actually are the only OEM that's allowed to use the uh, Tour AD shaft in the United States. Really? In in terms of stocking it in our club as a stock shaft. It's an extremely high launching shaft for the lower spin, but it's really light. So you're still able to put a shaft in there to compensate for the extremely low spin on, on the club. Okay, cool. cool. No, so it's great so club. for me, yeah. and you know how it goes, like, no matter what people say, this club is better, right. you got your baby. Yeah. Like, could I look at something like this? Is there a chance this could perform even better than what I'm using now? Or? Probably not this particular shaft. Maybe. It, it depends. Now, this shaft probably wouldn't be for you. 
But there are other, other shafts in there. We actually have uh, 19 non-upcharge shafts that you can get ordered in it in this club. The one, one, one feature about this club that you might actually end up getting more distance out of it and less spin right. is that cup base we're talking about in the ferry road that makes our ferry road so hot. But we're actually using that same material in the form of a face plate. Instead of the entire head being one type of titanium, right. we're actually robotically laser building, laser bounding a uh, face plate in there that's just how so they're ferry. So inside this face, this isn't one piece. Right. It looks like it is. It's, but not, it's not because it's robot robotically laser bonded. So you don't you don't see a seam. Wow. You're not gonna see, you don't see that seam. Wow. That's the beauty of it. And of course I can see it's adjustable, right? Yeah, um Y angle. Two, two, you can go two degrees up or down from the stamp loft. So wow. if it's awesome. a ten, you can go up to a twelve, down to an eight. Awesome. Do you have the DG putters here? I think I have have can we a take a quick look at those and then we'll we'll go ahead and let everybody go. Yeah, let me go grab a couple for you. All right. Make it easier. You know, so one of the things that is was really exciting, we went we were at the PJ Championship last year. We went to Whistling Straits, and on the way up there, we stopped off in Batavia, Illinois, and we, I've got a video somewhere on YouTube, uh, you can find it, but we went, we went to the Tour Edge, uh, I hate to say factory, because they don't build the clubs there, but the assembly plant, their headquarters, and I got a chance to use the counterbalance putter, I learned about that. I got a chance to use the launch monitor, these guys test all this stuff on right in their place. Um, and I got a chance to roll some putts there too. So let's take a look at these things. Yeah, so there's five different head styles in the David Glock Tour Series putters. They're all precision milled out of a block of steel. And the really cool thing is how these are made. Our our chief, or our, our CEO, president of our company, owns the company, David Glock, designs all of our clubs. He actually hand does these out of a block of steel Personally. to get the perfect shape. And then well, personal. personally does it. He, he actually does it all himself, hours and hours of labor starts over and over until he gets the absolute perfect shape that he envisions. So, and then, then you go to the production process when you're happy with it. Oh, so he personally makes the mold, the first original one, and then Correct. they have to re reproduce it. Absolutely. But he's still the craftsman. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. He handcrafts everything. Wow. And that's the best way to do it, to really get the perfect shape instead of, you know, trying to do the computer. Yeah. Type of yeah. Thing. Which yeah. it goes to that stage, obviously, after this. But the first step is... You know, handcrafting it like he does. And so I've used these putters before. So mm -hmm. I used the one maybe the last year or two. Yeah. And the thing about these putters is there's a certain putter out there, and I won't mention it, but I used to own one. And when you putt with that putter, you get this soft click feel with the ball rolling out the putter. Mm -hmm. And I was able to achieve that with this putter as well. So that's the single piece of, yeah. of, is it German stainless steel? Is that what they made of? What are they made of? Uh, just carbon steel. Car so the single piece of carbon steel, you get that vibration all the way up to right. the club, right. and it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you a funny story about this. I can't name yeah. names. I won't tell you what tour it's on, all right. but we actually had, our, our tour rep was out on one of the putting greens with a bag of our putters, and a big time player comes up and wants to roll one of our putters, and we're like, sure. Well, he goes in there and says, uh, you know what, I'm going to... I'm gonna put that in the play. This was at the U.S. Open. This like, year, oh, Elkmont? This was this was a couple years ago. Chambers Bay. Uh, Pinehurst. No, this was a couple years ago. I can't I can't okay. tell you right, I can't tell you any specifics on it. I'm not allowed to. I can tell you the story though. Okay. But this player, this, the company that he's with, found out, and within two days, carbon copied it. They co they copied a 100 percent copy really? of their putter and put their brand on and everything. And that's what he's been playing ever since. Really? Yes. Are they still selling that putter? They don't sell it. Oh, they made one, one for him so they could keep it. putting that name right. on there. Some pretty, it might make David feel really good. Oh, it makes us feel great to get that validation. I mean, the biggest validation we can get is having the best players in the world play it without getting paid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, yeah. that's the biggest thing we can do. I mean, these guys are getting money thrown at them all the time, and they still play the stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh, by the way, so I just found out that if anyone's watching this, you can, like, type in a question somewhere in a comment thing or something and ask Cody a question about this sort of thing and mm -hmm. I know you're busy you got all these people around but if, uh, another minute or two so I make all uh, the time in the world hey, for you Mike it's nice isn't it? <laughs> so I got to talk about something else okay right? go ahead so we have people that are playing the hot launch series yes we have people who are playing um, a tour edge uh, all in one set. They get the bag, right. they get irons, they get woods, they get the putter, they get everything. Absolutely. And they're getting great results out of those mm -hmm. things. So I, I know that there's a price difference. Yes. Like I know right. this stuff right here is the same comparable quality and the same general like price competition level as the big, big 
right, 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 right. Yeah. So why do those other clubs perform so well? They're so inexpensive. Those hot launch clubs. I mean, quite honestly, we're using absolutely great technology. You know, you look at the Exotics line, which is our, you know, our expensive line. Right. You know, we're using a little bit more expensive material in the, in the Exotics, but similar type of technology. So a little bit, little bit better materials will get you a little bit more yardage here or there. Um, but the hot launch shoe is extremely forgiving. So the driver in hot launch shoe is cup face. Yes. Um, it's very it easy. It's very easy to hit. Same technology. Um, it's just geared for a different player. It's just extremely forgiving. That's what it is. But it's good quality stuff. Like I, I know people that are playing very stuff. very well with those clubs. Yeah. And I can't see any. Is there a question? Yes. Ryan wants to know: Will they be releasing a new CB Pro model? A uh, fairy fairywood. What, what's your fairywood iron? He's thinking fairywood. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so um, we actually, the CB Pro F2 is out right now in its current. We're actually slowing down our product cycles a little bit because we found, we got kind of sick and tired in the industry where you really can't make something new every eight to ten months and find improvement. So that club's been out for two years. It's going to be out a third year, the F2 is. Um, all of our product cycles are going to end up slowing down. So right now, as I know, as, from what I know, there's no plan of a new CB Pro Fairywood right now. Um, if you like the CB Pro style Fairywoods, I really recommend you trying the EX10 Beta Fairywood. It's got similar technology with the wavy sole on the bottom, um, titanium cup face and all that, and it's extremely workable. It's forgiving, but you can still make the ball go right to left, left to right, if that's what you're looking to play the Pro model for. So that's what I would recommend. As of right now, I don't think that we're coming out with a new CB Pro Fairy. Right. Is there another question? Okay, so I've got something else. If this is the Ryan, I think it is. Is that Ryan Pittman? Mm -hmm. So this guy, Ryan Pittman, right? Oh, I know who Ryan is. Okay. He breaks club faces sometimes. Yeah. Because he hits it really, really hard. Absolutely. Right? Uh, you guys will replace that for Yeah. Well, every single club that comes out of our factory is a lifetime warranty. By the way, he hasn't broken with the Tour Edge one. Well, but there's good. another one he's using, and it was like, cave in, cave in. Yeah. And he can just send them back. You guys will keep fixing them, right? Yeah. Well, we, 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 we have lifetime warranty. Um, the way that we manufacture our clubs, they really shouldn't break. The processing we use, we use brazing, robotic laser bonding. There's a really strong manufacturing process that shouldn't break down. So we you know, we really believe in our clubs, and we put that stamp on every single club with lifetime warranty, because it should last you a lifetime. It really should. Awesome. You know, technology is going to catch up like in you know three to five years and make a difference for you. But you know, in that three to five years, unless you get a new club, you still have a lifetime warranty. Or if you keep it and you love it, you know, 10, 15 years from now, your club breaks, we're still going to honor that. Right. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have another question or? No. Nope. Join. Say hi to Greg. Hey, Greg. How are you? <laughs> all right. We're going to go because you're busy. There's all kinds of stuff going on. But thanks very much for watching. It's a Cody. pleasure. Awesome seeing Thanks you again. Hey, we're gonna hang around still and look at oh, all this stuff. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks.